Oh there, ladies and gentlemen. So I decided to hop back in Final Fantasy XIV. It seems like it's getting a bit of resurgence of love. So I decided to start a new character. And the way I'm going to record this is basically I'm going to kind of split it up um, to where to where everything is kind of split up to where I can have a, a playlist for all the main story quests and you know have them in their separate videos, side kind of separate videos, under separate videos. So on and so forth. So let's let's hop in and get started here. Mm -hmm. Nope. Going going to Goblin. Because that's that's where we're going. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so I'm probably not going to do much reading because I'm going to be terrible at it and I don't want to force it, so, <laughs> but I will save time in between, so I'll be, I'll be able to read it.
I forgot how tall the bunny girls were. You know, maybe I should try and read it. Let's give this a try. As long as you avoid dying, I mean, it ain't no secret that a veteran is a risky business these days, especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Huh. And now those are really fit. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might be as old Brennan's uh, chatterbox, but he sure as hell ain't no busybody. Well, we all have a secret or three, don't we? Me doesn't. And I'd rather that stay that stayed secret too. Just why I don't go sticking me nose where it ain't welcome. Just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory. Such as breathing. Ain't no point in being dead, and that's a fact. Oh, look at that. Guess I'm gonna want to guest. Ships off the starboard bow, pirate colors. These pirates have terrible fucking aim. <laughs> pirates, bloody hells. Have you have you no sense? Get below. What is the world coming to? Pirates firing on a ship flying amidst in colors? Bastards either have a, a boatload of balls or bugger all for brains. You can rest easy, friends. We've made it out of old cannon range. And no buccaneers. Fargo catches this fighty temptress once the winds in her sails. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept her head on her shoulders. I reckon I've lost mine, otherwise. If the pirates give up give up chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on the deck and have us a look, shall we? Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. We're going to start early in the morning, so I'll be kind of tired here. By the by, is this your first trip to Limsa Lominsa? I'll say yes. It is? Well then, let this journey to Internet Rant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Hum. Limsa Lominsa. Well, Minsa prides itself as being Eorzea's foremost neighbor power. More too long ago, that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current animal's civilizing influence, the city state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You never guess she was once a run spoon buccaneer herself. Because most folk ain't so quick to change, and with a town full of liberty loving ruffians, you can imagine how the nay series of troublemakers she's got to deal with. Like the pirates who took a fancy to us just now. And if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the Sahagin are raiding the coast just as bold as you please. There are the sea dwelling beastmen the locals call fishbacks, in case you didn't know. Ah, long last. Land ho. Behold, Limsa Lomitsa, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of, uh, uh, let's see, Limlane? I'm like, I'm like, I'm guess that's how you say it. Uh, goddess of navigation.
On a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm. Amidst the roiling waves of the Lotano Sea lies the maritime city-state of Limsa Lominsa. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Lone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? Here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the Marcus to deliver me wares, then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by way of thanks for saving me ours earlier. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of stories personally as I can brag about having met, and I'll consider it a square. Excuse me. Through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on her life's voyage. Till sea swallows all. You there. I am in you. This is my district. I make my business and know all this scum that washes up in it. Ah, an adventure fresh off the boat. It is, is it? Well then, allow one of uh, Limsa Lominsa's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, last. I haven't gotten all day. All right, so turn that back on. That's mainly to uh, mouse and keyboard. Nope. Okay. That's right, chat windows over here in this game. <laughs> All right, now let's get the. Uh... Actually, let's go. Uh, no, I want boilers windowed. Yes, thank you. All right. West, yep, so we'll keep this, you know, going here for a moment since 
the open part is going to be kind of main story quest anyway, leading up to main story quest anyways. All right. So yes, yes to be recognized as an adventure. Okay. Now then, I'm sure you're interested to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city. And without a bit of local knowledge, you're likely to get yourself sitting in some uh, piss stinking alley. So before you do anything else, get yourself over to the Drowning Wench and enroll with the Adventurers Guild. It's not far. Just head straight down the street and speak with a uh, Greyfar. He'll show you how to work that uh, big movement platform we call the Crow's Lift, and that'll take you up to the pub. Once you're there, look for a fellow by the name of uh, Madarin. He's the proprietor of the wench. He might curse like an ale sodden sailor, but the man's got a soft spot for wide-eyed newcomers like yourself. He'll set you straight. Got all that? Good. Now run along and may the navigator guide you on your journey. Okay. Uh-huh. Alright, let's keep going. Aim our first rodeo. Um, if I have a feeling what we'll do is I'll have a character for each starting area. And then I'll probably choose one of them to be the main character that continues with the rest of the main story quest. Or I might do the main story quest on all three characters. But we'll see. Alright, welcome to Linsa Lominsa. If you've a uh, mind to set visit if you have a mind to visit the Drowning Wrench, the Crow's Lift will take you there. Yes, take the Crow's Lift. Let's go. Alright, so, oh yeah, we got Dr. Uh Click on rewards, yep, yep, yep. Greetings to you, lass. Well, be. Ah, uh, but you ain't here for the drink, are you? You've come with a mind to try your, uh, try and, uh, okay, try your hand at adventuring, I reckon. But you'll find no swords or work here, or work here in the Limsa. I gotta get used to the apostrophes, try and figure out, you know, what the word is. Generally supposed to sound like this, you know, the speak I'm not used to. Name's Batterin, and this most hospitable of uh, oysters is a drowning wench. Tis also the the home of the Adventurers Guild here in Limsa. That's why we've got a desk, especially for handling a uh, guild business. Ah, and why I seem to spend more time saving the necks of whelps like of whelps like yourself than wet in the throats of me, of, of me regulars. So I'm probably not getting the accents right, but it, you know, I just, I'm not used to kind of speaking with that accent slash abbreviation, I guess you want to call it. Alright. Ventures have a knack for finding trouble, see? Not that they need it in these parts, on account of there being trouble wherever you, wherever you look. If you manage to steer clear of the fish bags and the kobolds outside, outside the city, the pirates on the uh, inside will get you instead. And if they don't manage, there's always a Galarian Empire to finish the job. Oh, no one knows what they're planning, of course, but if they're planning anything, you'd be sure to kill a lot of us. Alright, this town seems peaceful at a glance, but look again, and you'll see people living in living fear of what tomorrow might bring. And who can blame them? After everything that's happened, you always took a mighty blow during the calamity. But our homes were the only things that uh, got wiped off the face of existence by that thrice damned bastard of a dragon. It took our bleeding memories too, and no one's been able to explain explain it in a way as makes uh, an ounce of sense. None of the folks who had saw it uh, live to tell the tale to agree on how the tale actually goes. It's all foggy, like recollections from a uh, from a hard night on the ale. You can imagine why people might fear for the future if they can't rec recall the past. <clears throat> Excuse me. But there's one thing we all remember. That's a group of adventurers that laid down their lives to drag Eorzea back from the brink. 
when she was bound for the abyss. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, the way ain't forgotten what they did for us. This goddamn calamity spot memory loss robbed us of our, robbed us of their names. I won't even let us picture their damn faces. It's like staring at a goal flying in front of, of the sun, and you see it in, in your mind's eye as a shadow set against a blinding glare, and that's how every bugger describes it. By the way, give or take the odd gall. Is this what God got, got people calling these heroes the Warriors of Light? If Limps has ever got to put this time of darkness behind it, it's going to need adventures to help banish the fear. It's going to need new heroes like the ones we lost. Maybe one day you'll be one of them, and that's why. That's uh, and that's why. In the we can give to adventurers effort well spent. What say you, lass? You willing to lend us your strength? Me thanks to you, and to the navigator and all. I knew she steered my way for the for a reason. Now, well, listen to me yattering on like a sun-touched uh, fishwife. It's high time we got your mark in the book. Or in me book. Put your scrawl right there. Fly out a whisper, is it? Ah, fine name it is. Congratulations, you're now an upstanding member of the Adventurers Guild. You the adventurer. You sailed in on the last ferry, did you not? Captain reported being attacked by a pirate vessel, and several witnesses have testified independently that a passenger matching the description went out on deck mere moments before the event's incident took place. Sending for your friend's signals, were you? No signals would be had. Besides, those pirates were shit. You know, if I wanted to put a hole in that ship, I would hire someone with better aim, okay? Because they couldn't hit a broadside of a bower. Oof. I'll tell you, man, they need some target practice. All right. Now hold on there. Now hold on just a moment there, officer. You've got the wrong lass. This fine upstanding young lady is my dear and departed grandma's sister, niece's cousin, closest companion. That the last one would be caught, well, last one would be caught dead fraternizing with such unsavory elements. Is that right? <clears throat> You're surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then, we cannot be too trusted of outsiders at a time when the low to of even our closest friends is in doubt. Aye, you make a good point there, officer. A very good point. Very wise. You need to worry, though. I keep one eye open at all times, me and two more others often than not. Now, sir, what say you to take it and we find a sale before you uh, return to your duties, eh? I'll war down a cup of piss like last time, I should hope. Ain't got the fanciest idea where you're on about, officer. The wench might offer some of the cheaper scrock the side of the strait of uh, Malthor, but that don't mean it won't get you good and pickled. And look, there's a chair over there just crying out to be sat on. So kick off them heavy boots, eh? You have to skew these eager blade yellow jackets. There's been a spat of kidnapping, see? And they ain't got a clue who's behind them. Naturally, they're taking to clapping irons on anyone who looks vague or suspicious, which means adventurers, uh, visitors, and pretty much every bugger else in this, in this town. Don't take it personal, though. Us little Minsons can uh, be, be a headstrong bunch of, of bastards. It is true, but give it time, we grow on you. Now, where was I? Oh, hi. Welcome to Valencia. Omitsa, where the seas is green as the faces of my patrons after a few too many black belly whiskies. Now take a moment to gather your wits, and we'll start and we'll get started with yearning you the ways of the city. Oh. All right. Pop these up here. No, unlock. For now. Lots of messes with my head later. Alright. So I think we'll leave off here on this one. And then we'll pick up continuing the main story quest on the next one. 
like I said, I'm going to split up the main story quest from the side quest and other bits. And if I have to, like, kind of chain the main story quest together and kind of do cuts, I'll try that. Let's see how it works. See if, you know, people like it. If not, eh, we'll try something else. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I didn't talk too fast or trying to read the text. You know, learning process. I used to reading stuff out loud. You know. Alright. Well, thank you guys for joining me. See you on the next one.